Hey guys and guys, this is Carl over here at Repairs the Universe doing the Nexus 5 Reassemble. You're going to need three tools today for the reassemble, which is a metal pry tool, flathead screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. Let's get it started. On the reassemble, you're going to basically push down the flex of the LCD connector and pull back the tape. If you don't have to remove the tape, it's the best if you don't. Keep the original tape to it. Once you have the tape on there, you're going to connect the charger low dock flex connection of the Nexus 5. Make sure your antenna is connecting on both sides, the left and the right. Once you have those connected, uh, reassemble it perfectly the way it should be when it lays down into the phone. Take your time here, guys. Uh, do not rush yourself. It will fit kind of snugly. Make sure you go from the right side to the middle to the far left because that's what the last connection is. Once you have it all in there, you're going to feel a little snap, and then that's going to reconfirm that you have it in the right place. The antennas on the left and the right side have its own little track that it needs to fit in. Once you have those completely set up in that right track, you can go ahead and move along with the rest of it. But take your time and make sure all antennas are in the little track on the left and the right hand side. Once you have those together, we'll go ahead and move on. Once you have those antennas connected, we're going to go from the front facing camera, which is the top right. Again, it has the adhesive showing down and then the back facing camera, which has the port to the left and the flex to the right. Take your time. Do not overestimate yourself. Now, the top motherboard, it has one particular location you can put it into. Do not reverse it. You're not going to have it the right location. You can notice by the LCD or the SIM connector is pushing out of the device on the left hand side. Once you're pushing the motherboard inside, if you notice the flex cable of the camera is a little bit off and it needs to be fit perfectly into the device. If you see it's wrong, you just pull me back just enough that you can slide it in. Once it's slid in, you're going to feel a little snug, but trust me, it's going to fit perfectly. Do not smash the cameras or the smash the LCD connectors or the antenna flex. Pop those out of the way and it will snugly snap into place. Once you have them in place, double check on all your corners to make sure it's flush to the board. Once it's flush to the board, you can now reassemble the phone as the flex connectors and the antenna connectors. Go ahead and start reconnecting everything as the bottom and the top. Go ahead and pop in the battery. Go ahead and push him down. He's going to be a little snug, but he will fit perfectly into the device. Go ahead and pop in the charging port connector on the bottom. Once you have the battery and they're connected securely into the device, make sure you do not break the flex cables. And you can break it, go slow, easy, and you will be able to get it perfectly for you. Once you have that guy connected, start connecting the antennas on the left and right hand side. Do not push too hard. It has a particular location as a male to female connection inside the device. Again, keep a line and the track of the antennas have its own little bezel or own little groove that it sits into. Follow that groove and it will notice later in line when you push the back door into you could potentially break the antenna. Do not break the antenna. So you want to have the best connection possible from the low dock to the top assembly to the motherboard. Once you're in there, you're going to basically line it up with the flat tip. If you have any problems, you can just slide them over and push them into the little grooves best way possible. Again, take your time. Once you're done with that, you're going to have the low dock speaker or the speaker phone itself uh, that guy pushes into and we're going to basically line up the top one too. If you follow this little diagram here
once you have all the screws in together, you're going to basically just snap the back on. Go again slow, don't break the connection pieces, and just go ahead and snap all the way around the device. Once you have the back on, let's turn it on, and yay, we have now reassembled our Nexus 5. Congratulations. Again, you guys can follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and go ahead and go to repairsuniverse.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll definitely try to get to them. All our tools and our extra parts are available through repairsuniverse.com. Please go ahead and take a second and check the website. Have a great day. For more helpful guides, please click our subscribe button to our channel. If you go ahead and like, if you found this helpful, go ahead and click the like below.